What's up everyone and welcome back to the Live Alive. Today let's get started with. Simicus can become Klopp's main weapon. Robertson will undergo a scan on Friday, the 13th of October, after dislocating his shoulder in Scotland's 2-0 defeat to Spain. As per The Athletic, the Reds' first choice left back had to be taken off just before halftime in Seville after a nasty collision with goalkeeper Unai Simon. He looked in serious discomfort as he left the field. It appears that the injury is serious and he could be out for a few months at least. It's a blow for Klopp, but it can be a good opportunity for other players to step up. Simicus has proved to be a reliable backup option for the Reds last season, and it's time for him to become one of the key players for the club. He has been used mostly in cup games so far and has managed only four minutes of action in the Premier League, with Robertson likely to be out for a while. He is guaranteed to start against Everton in the Merseyside derby after the international break. The Greek international has been around for a while now and he should be comfortably settled at Anfield. He has made 2.5 tackles and 2.5 interceptions in the Europa League so far, and there's no reason why he can't replicate in the Premier League. He is not a naturally aggressive player like Robertson, but brings different qualities. The Greek defender is good at tackling and loves to hold the ball and play smart passes. He is definitely going to get regular games in the coming weeks. And he has to make a strong impact now. Klopp could also check out Luke Chambers who is seen as a highly rated prospect at the club's academy. Simicus must have been praying for opportunities, and now that it has come before him, he must make the best use of it. So Barsley is the reason why Man City target won't be sold. Man City have interest in RB Leipzig star Danny Olmo, but the German club will not allow the 25-year-old to leave the Bundesliga in January. Rumours have begun to circulate ahead of the winter transfer window regarding the Spanish star with Arsenal and Chelsea also being linked with a potential move for the Leipzig star. There is also interest from Spain with Barcelona among the favourites to land Olmo next summer. However, according to Football Insider, RB Leipzig are reluctant to let Olmo leave the club in January having already lost key players such as Christofan Kunku, Josko Gvardiol and Dominic Sobaslai to Premier League clubs during the summer. Olmo has made an impressive start to his season with Leipzig scoring five goals and assisting another one during the four matches he has played. A knee injury has kept him out of action since early September but he is likely to stay at the club until at least the summer. The midfielder is under contract at Leipzig until June 2027 after penning renewed terms back in June, but where he goes next remains to be seen. Gravenberch explains why he moved to Liverpool. Liverpool significantly overhauled their midfield this past summer transfer window in hopes of putting the club back on the right path in the Premier League. Former captain Jordan Henderson departed the club, while veteran Fabinho joined Al Ittihad. Joining them, Alex Oxley chamberlain and Naby Keita both departed on free transfers, Alexis McAllister and Dominic Sobarsly headlined Liverpool's key incomings in the midfield, but there is another midfield who's enjoying his move to Anfield. After earning just three starts for Bayern Munich in the Bundesliga last season, it was clear Ryan Gravenberch was looking for a quick change of scenery. His move from Ajax to Bayern in the summer of 2022 was viewed as perhaps a step up too much despite his form in the Eredivisie. Under both Julian Nagelsmann and Thomas Tuchel, Gravenberg struggled to be a prominent figure with Bayern. The summer transfer window of 2023 provided the Dutchman with an opportunity to play elsewhere. In came the Reds with a bid of £34.3 million that Bayern Munich accepted. While Gravenberch is not a regular starter with Liverpool either, it's been clear early on he plans to feature plenty under Jurgen Klopp. The 21-year-old midfielder recently scored his first goal with Liverpool in the Europa League against Union SG. Speaking recently about his move, Gravenberch revealed why exactly he joined Liverpool, Sky Sports via Fabrizio Romano. Klopp was key for me to join Liverpool. I spoke to him before and he gave me a good feeling. He said to me, I want you. He gave me his plans and he explained everything, gave me such a good feeling that my decision was the first one. Ryan Gravenberch was not called up this international break by the Netherlands, with national team manager Ronald Koeman stating he's not played much for the Reds, and the player previously refused a U-21 call-up. Man City vs Liverpool forced to move kickoff time, Manchester City's clash with Liverpool on 25 November will be moved from 5.30pm to 12.30pm due to police fears over fan behaviour at the Premier League fixture. City and the Reds were penciled in for the evening clash, but the local safety advisory group, which includes the police, won't give permission for the game to go ahead. Instead, Arsenal and Brentford's clash will be moved to the evening. Pep Guardiola's side confirmed the switch on X, formerly known as Twitter, fixture update. 
Our home Premier League clash against Liverpool on Saturday the 25th of November will now kick off at 12.30, UK, City and Liverpool's matches have been marred by violence over the past couple of years. With the most recent incident seeing a 15-year-old girl being left, scarred for life, after she was struck by a pot weighted with coins, as a result, during Liverpool's next trip to the Etihad Stadium, they saw their allocation cut by 20%, with just 2,400 tickets being made available. However, two months before the coin-throwing incident, City fans had been accused of singing offensive chants about the Hillsborough disaster, which claimed the lives of 97 Liverpool fans. And images emerged of toilets at Anfield graffitied with similar messages. There has also been trouble ahead of Champions League clashes between the two sides, with Liverpool fans reportedly throwing projectiles at the City bus. And there were similar accusations made against City fans when Liverpool travelled to Manchester back in April. Both clubs have condemned all acts of violence. Luis Diaz looks seriously nervous on the pitch, Liverpool winger Luis Diaz is overthinking things during his recent performances. Diaz has started to struggle slightly after a blistering start to the season for Liverpool, posting another goal as showing during Colombia's draw with Uruguay last night. Following the game, Colombian legend Faustino Asprilla spoke to ESPN about Diaz's display, and he thinks that the Reds' number 7 is just a bag of nerves right now, the definition in football in the end is everything, Asprilla said. Commenting on Diaz's end product, Luis Diaz's anxiety is eating him, he looks anxious. He did everything right for the definition, but at the moment of impact he raised it. Normally that in Liverpool that is goal, also in other plays he could calmly do other things to define better, but the anxiety had him finishing before. He dribbled when he did not have to and that in football is fundamental, that is seen in every game, when you are not fine in definition it is impossible to score goals. Although, nervous, would be the wrong way to describe the way Diaz is playing. Anxious, is a good choice, everything the 26-year-old does at the moment looks slightly rushed. He appears so eager to get on the ball and score, that he forgets to take it easy and let things come naturally. It's also true though, that this is the same way Diaz tends to play even when things are going smoothly for him. He's an electric character and plays as such on the pitch, nevertheless, it would be nice to see him ease up a little when possible. Colombia manager Nesta Lorenzo said as much before the game, claiming that Diaz is playing with too much pressure. The Liverpool man is his nation's most high-profile player right now. But that doesn't mean he has to do it all himself, likewise at Liverpool. He has other players who can help him make sure he's on the winning team. Perhaps we're being a little harsh. Diaz is still a top player who's been far more good than bad this season. Still though, we're clearly not the only ones who see that he can do so much better. Keep calm and carry on, Lucho. And that's the end of this video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to support me.